CadillacCoach.com, reverse softshell OVD technique. Can this reliably prevent caps run at or the Argentinian flag sign? Let's watch this case here. So our guest certain has a patient with an intumescent cataract. Now, making a main incision here. There we go. The surgeon's going to use what he calls a reverse soft shell technique. So in the center there, a little dispersive viscoelastic, and now in the periphery, a cohesive viscoelastic to really push down on the peripheral part of the lens capsule. So 360 degrees of cohesive viscoelastic pushing down on the peripheral lens capsule. And then in the center there, there's a dispersive agent. Now poking with the, the cystotome. And it looks like making a small kind of double rexus technique here, but it looks like multiple incisions. So it looks like maybe a little uh, egress of fluid there. But yeah, look at these little relaxed incisions being made on the capsule. That's interesting. Okay, and there certainly is some liquefied lens material leaking out. There's the egress of that fluid. And let's see what's next. Now more cohesive viscoelastic on the peripheral part of the lens. So pushing on that anterior lens capsule with that, maybe to help push out more liquefied lens cortex, help keep that capsule nice and flat, a little maybe pinch here of more dispersive agent in the center, and let's see now, now Rex is going to be done. So interesting technique here. Now the surgeon claims to have a zero rate of Argentinian flag sign using this technique. It's the first I've heard of this technique, so I'm presenting it here so we can all learn together. I think it sounds very interesting. Again, it's using a combination of dispersive viscoelastic in the center of the anterior chamber, and then in the angle, 360, out in the peripheral part, on top of the iris and on top of the peripheral anterior lens capsule, using a cohesive viscoelastic. And then doing, in, in essence, a double rexus technique with a small capsule opening made initially, then allowing fluid to egress. More cohesive viscoelastic was placed, remember, on the peripheral part of the lens to help push out more fluid. Hopefully the nucleus was rocked a little bit too to get the fluid, the intumescent lens liquefied cortex that's behind the, the nucleus in front of the posterior capsule. Let that come around too. But it looks great. I mean, here's a beautiful four and a half or five millimeter capsular axis. Obviously it didn't run out at all. The nucleus removal technique is going to be pretty straightforward, pretty standard. But I want to know, have you tried this technique? I mean, I'm impressed. It seemed to work very well. No issues at all. Here you go. End of the case. Get the lens in the bag. Probably six millimeter optics. So maybe a four and a half millimeter rexus. And patient has a nice outcome here. Now let's see what we got going on here. Cystotome going in. Perhaps going to enlarge that rexus a little bit. There's a little tear of the capsule here and here. And I'm guessing we're going to enlarge the capsule. Yeah, there we go. So enlarging it to maybe a five to five and a half millimeter capsule opening. And that looks pretty good. Beautiful technique. So please do me a favor. Comment below. Have you tried this technique? This so-called, you know, reverse soft shell technique of using a combination of cohesive and dispersive viscoelastic to help kind of flatten out that lens capsule and prevent this. Now, I know some surgeons are using these super cohesives like the Helon 5 and the Helon GVs, and that can help to a degree. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know. And hey, remember, check out our podcast. Every week, a brand new podcast. You will learn so much. I promise you will absolutely love it. Check it out.